Size is relative, especially in the animal kingdom. Meadows, something else. We're right here, Professor. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 giant creatures. For this list, we're looking at animals that are freakishly large. These aren't your ordinary behemoths like elephants and rhinos, but large creatures that may have escaped notice. Those that you think of as tiny critters, but have gigantic versions in existence. In an instant, it can change color, pattern, and texture. And with no bones to confine its shape, the creature can virtually disappear. Number 10, the capybara. Well, I, I am it's certainly a national first because I am covered in capybara slobber. Rodents are some of the smallest mammals in terms of body size. We don't think of mice, squirrels, hamsters, and shrews as bulky animals, and rightly so. But there's one rodent that breaks this mold, and that is the capybara. Rodents of unusual size? I don't think they exist. As the largest rodent in the world, the capybara can reach lengths of nearly five feet and weigh up to 200 pounds. I want you to pet him. What is he? He's a capybara. A good capybara. It's the largest member of the rodent family. After Gene. Mm-hmm. This means that the largest capybara weighs more than the largest wolf. Such gargantuan creatures reside largely in South America and spend their lives foraging for plants and trying to evade predators like anacondas, jaguars, and humans. Despite their size, capybaras are not much of a threat, though their huge incisors can pack quite a bite. Number 9. The Giant African Land Snail Chances are the giant African snail sees you, but you don't see it. These aren't your garden variety snails. Nope, they can grow to almost 8 inches long and 4 inches in diameter. With big bodies come big appetites, and considering how much a regular snail eats, the African variety can eat tenfold which is why they're regarded as pests. These snails are known to eat 500 different types of plants and also don't mind eating your stucco homes to build up their hard shells. In fact, the giant snail is considered one of the world's most harmful invasive species. Its exportation from Africa led to accidental introduction elsewhere in the world and also risks the transmission of meningitis to humans due to parasites it may carry. Eradication projects have been attempted in the U.S. and South Pacific Islands, but the snails have proven resilient. This is a big snail, a very big snail. Number 8. The Goliath Frog Some frogs, like bullfrogs, can reach quite the size, at least compared to other frogs. It's the Goliath frog, however, that dwarfs the others in its species. This is a little one. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> this aptly named frog can weigh over seven pounds and have a body length of nearly 13 inches. With legs included, that length is doubled. Owing to its size, the Goliath frog eats animals that ordinarily eat frogs, essentially rewiring the food chain. Snakes, turtles, other frogs, and even in one instance, a bat are all documented prey. This amphibious Maximus lives in a very tiny region of Central Africa, and their already small population is unfortunately shrinking due to human persecution. Prices range from $900 to $2,500 a frog. Number 7. The Giant Squid It's the closest we've come to finding a mythical sea monster. Release the Kraken! Giant squids are known through generations of tall tales and urban legends, from destroying ships to stalking Jack Sparrow. Hello, beastie. But what's not legend is its body size. Based on only a handful of specimens, scientists estimate that the giant squid can attain lengths of 43 feet and weigh over 600 pounds. And this isn't even the largest squid species. The colossal squid is near kraken in size, as one living specimen weighed 1,100 pounds. Their maximum weight is estimated to be around 1,700 pounds, with a body length approaching 50 feet. Don't you wish these things were imaginary? Number 6. The Leatherback Sea Turtle Everything's bigger in the ocean, and turtles are no exception. Oh, it's awesome, Jelly Man. All sea turtles are man-sized or greater, but the leatherback is the size of a car. 
well, at least a smart car. The leatherback sea turtle can be 9 feet long and weigh 1,400 pounds, but there are multiple reports of specimens weighing 2,000 pounds or more. Though these are hard to confirm, these gentle giants swim throughout the globe and feed almost exclusively on jellyfish, acting as a natural population controller. With all the seafood to choose from, it's odd that turtles developed a taste for them. Why turtles are immune to the sting remains a mystery. There are theories that they can live over 100 years if left alone, but as humanity unfortunately dictates, the most peaceful animals are usually the most vulnerable. Cindy Plankton from next door, he said that sea turtles said th th they live to be about 100 years old. Well, you know what? If I ever meet a sea turtle, I'll ask him. Number five, Nomura's jellyfish. Even the leatherback might have trouble devouring this guy. Nomura's jellyfish, named after the man who discovered it, can be almost 7 feet in diameter and weigh 440 pounds. Unlike most other species on this list, Nomura's jellyfish are thriving, especially in the waters between Japan and China. They're growing so large and so abundant, in fact, that a 10-ton fishing boat was upended from the weight of the jellyfish it had caught in its net. Despite its bulk, it's dwarfed in length by the lion's mane jellyfish, whose tentacles can reach 121 feet. Many scientists believe we might just have to adapt to this new gelatinous world. Number four, the continental giant rabbit. Mr. Wallace, mm. wait, is this all of them? Oh, uh, just one left. Hoist uh. her up, rummage. The continental rabbit is bred for insane sizes, and this genetic tampering has not failed to elicit results. At 4 feet 4 inches long and weighing 55 pounds, these rabbits rival dogs in size. They were first recorded in 1893, descending from the original Flemish giants. Both kinds were brought from Europe to America in the 1800s in an effort to have them increase the size of American breeds by mating. This is Atlas. He's a giant continental rabbit. Um, we'll need a lot of space. Um, for his care. Originally, they were used more for their parts like fur and meat, but nowadays they are coveted as pets. For some, a world of giant bunnies wouldn't be so bad, but for others, that would be a little too close to a Donnie Darko style fantasy. How can you do that? <laughs> Number three, the giant golden crowned flying fox. The golden crowned flying fox is a bat, not a fox at all but is named due to its fox-like coloring. And 60 of these are called flying foxes for their unique-looking fox-like faces. The flying fox has a near six-foot wingspan, which approaches that of an eagle, securing its status as the largest flying mammal in existence. Luckily for humanity, the flying fox belongs to the fruit bat family, so it is entirely content with feeding on plant material. In fact, the flying fox is completely non-aggressive and can even be said to be cute. However, that doesn't mean we want to be keeping one as a pet anytime soon. Why, it's a bat. Boy, what a neat cat. Hey, Eddie, does it catch rats? Number two, the Japanese spider crab. This spider crab is a deep sea crustacean that lives off the coast of Japan. It was named appropriately due to its long spidery legs that extend from a rather small body. The body is only 16 inches, but with legs included, the Japanese spider crab can approach 12 feet long, making this phobia exploiting creature the largest arthropod species in terms of length. This king sized crab is also adept at using camouflage to survive. I wonder what it could have been. It's just a big black shape moving through the coat. At least nature was sympathetic and left this terrifying animal amalgam at the bottom of the ocean, meaning it's likely that the only time you'll see it is in your nightmares. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. So the question is, how long is a giant earthworm? Well, it's not an easy question to answer. The centipede has a new skin and a new attitude. Predator. It's hungry, and eating its old skin just isn't good enough.
Number 1. The Chinese Giant Salamander As a kid, you may have flipped rocks in search of various critters like salamanders. These lizard-like amphibians could fit in the palm of your hand, making them perfect trophies for the adolescent adventurer. Coming upon the Chinese giant salamander would be a different story. They're the only large predator in these icy waters. Perhaps by flipping cement slabs you could find this creature, which can be 6 feet long and weigh 130 pounds. Rarely seen unless hunted for, they are exclusively aquatic and scour the rocky bottoms of rivers and lakes for food. They hunt by using a gap and suck method. The throat expands and then they open the mouth to cause suction. Collecting has caught up with this living dinosaur, however, and extinction is imminent because of the disruption of its natural environment, its status as a luxury dish, and its use in Chinese medicine. The Chinese giant salamander is critically endangered and is number two on ZSL's edge list for its evolutionary distinctness and globally endangered status. The biggest threats facing them are overhunting for human consumption. Do you agree with our list? What's your favorite giant creature? Two, three, two! Oh! oh. Okay, let's take this guy. There we go. Oh, yeah. For more gargantuan top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com.